Hi, good day. So I do have uh, doctor's appointments for the kids today, so this is going to be very short. I know I say that all the time, but it actually has to be short because I have appointments to go to. So let's get some messages from... Um, message for Divine Feminine. It's going to be pretty simple. Criticizing one another will only lead to further, further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. So basically, you know, love and accept people for who they are, okay? If they're disrespecting you, okay, love them from afar. Stand your ground, respect your boundaries, love them from afar. If they, you know, if um, everything's going good, but there's some pet peeves, you know, speak your mind and then let it go, right? Message for Divine Masculine. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Surrender. At some times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Only time will tell. Also, I wanted to tell you something that was very uncanny that happened to me yesterday. I don't know if this was to me or if this was a message for someone else, but I literally was sitting on my computer. My Skype was up um, and I was doing bills and I saw a message on the side of my computer that says, how are you, my queen? I said, hi, how are you, my queen? And I was like, what in the hell? And when I went into my Skype to read the message, there was no message. And I signed out of it, I think, like five times. And there was no message. Nothing. Nothing. And I was like, wow. Okay. So definitely somebody's, somebody's twin was coming through um, or a person that was definitely coming through. Okay. Queen, the divine feminine is known as a queen, right? And a lot of things she's depicted as a queen. Um, so I don't know if somebody, um, you know, talks to you like that or whatever, but um, I don't know. I mean, my husband calls me his queen all the time, but it was just very weird. He doesn't have Skype and... Like I said, the message was not there. I still, I turned off my computer. I turned it on this morning and checked again. My Skype is not there. <laughs> like I should have print screened it when it came through because very, very weird. Um, but I told you guys that um, I do get electronic communication all the time. Um, so yeah. And I didn't have anyone around me to see it, but I know I'm not crazy because when it, any, most of the other times I do have people around me and they look at me in utter disbelief and shock that they just saw what I saw. <laughs> and I always make a joke and say, oh my God, I'm so happy that you are here because if you weren't, I probably would be like, am I hallucinating? <laughs> so I know I'm not. So I just wanted to tell somebody that um, I was connecting with some energies that were deceased yesterday. So I don't know if it was this person or what, but yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that um message for the divine feminine <clears throat> i look for you everywhere we need to let each other go it was my fault but i blamed you i left you before you could leave me messages for divine masculine you and I were too young. You are the best thing in my life. I know I messed up everything. I know exactly what I was doing. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. All right. So current energy for divine feminine. Actually, I don't want to use this deck. I'm going to use the other one. Current energy for divine feminine. Current energy for divine feminine growth. So you are evolving. You are healing. They want you to know if you're questioning this, you are growing. Okay. And you have been expressing your truth or you will soon, 
or they're reminding you to do so. Future energy for Divine Feminine. Future energy for Divine Feminine. Future energy for Divine Feminine. I feel like you're going into your feminine energy fully encompassing divine feminine energy in the future. Future energy. There is something that is fated to happen. I know that can be a little scary. It could happen with someone who has been cold and detached. Can we get clarity on what's going to happen? Can we get clarity on this? Something is going to happen. Cycles that will be completed. This is something that you've been repressing or in a place of regret. I feel like it is a person. Clarify the cold and detached energy. It could have to do with a Libra. Okay. Karma balance justice. I feel like you could be, um, some of you could be going into a divorce as well. Okay. But I really feel like this is a Libra energy. Somebody will eventually forgive this person. Okay. Or this person will forgive you or both, right? You're definitely ending cycles with this person. Yeah, somebody has been deceptive. Um, they know they've been deceptive. But the universe is telling you to trust. Have faith. The universe does not, you know, nothing is unseen, right? Nothing is unseen. Current energy for divine masculine. Current energy for divine masculine. Current energy for divine masculine. Seeds. So divine masculine is planting something. And you're ending a contract, career commitment. Planning something new and ending a contract. This is an air sign. You could have been limited by your fear before, but you're not now. Okay, future energy for Divine Masculine. Future energy for Divine Masculine. Future energy for Divine Masculine. Reunion. With someone here... You're going to have a reunion with someone here who you've doubted. I feel like you've doubted this connection. You're like, this will never happen. You do have a, a deep attraction, a strong attraction to this person. You will be reunited with this person. Any clarity around who this person is for Divine Masculine? This is someone who you're going to form a solid foundation with. Could be a water sign here. Okay. <sighs> could be a water sign. I feel like you could have been trying to be with this person. This person. Why is separation here? I feel like you're going into separation. Um, you could be a water sign or you're attached. Uh, I feel like you're attached to a water sign. Um, I feel like you're going to be going into a separation with this person. Not with this person, but this is strange. Let me focus. You could have been separated from this person. If it wasn't a physical separation, it could have been an emotional separation. But I feel like you have increased your vibration. You could have been stuck in ego and not realized it. And now you're, you're forming a solid foundation with this person again. Okay. You could have been sitting in the past and suffering. Yeah. So something about fall. Clarify the fall time. Yeah, you're going to have the courage to change, finally. Be on your purpose here, going towards your wish fulfillment, something that you've been avoiding for a long time. This is a renewal. So there will be a renewal, 
okay, a renewal after a cycle has ended. So you may not have felt this way about this person before, or you could have lost um, the spark with this person. I don't feel like you, the spark is back is what I'm getting. Oof, you're an air sign. <laughs> You could have been seeing, so I really feel like you have saw how controlling you are. You kind of looked at your own ways, okay? And you changed. Yeah, you're like, that's not the person that I really am. You did some shadow work. You did some shadow work. Some of you are going into union with an earth sign. Some of you could be an air attached to earth. Some of you are air attached to water. Okay. So these are different people here. Okay. But it's the same situation. Some of you could be going into union with yourself even. Combining your mind and emotion and becoming grounded, right? There was a message that could have caused something. It made you heal. You released the past and you grew. Very nurturing and compassionate energy. There was a message that definitely caused some kind of tower for you. And you realized your self-worth in this message. And I don't know if it was a it could have been a message or a conversation that was had with someone it really caused you to kind of self-reflect and say what do I want and I feel like instead of sitting at the fork in the road and not knowing what you wanted to do you chose healing you released the past and you're working on yourself so that's a very good energy here that is a very good energy. <clears throat> Advice for Divine Feminine, and then we're going to wrap it up. Advice for Divine Feminine. Keep an open mind. Your soul may differ than your usual type and expectations. Finances and career. Financial issues are affecting your love life. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. Yes, this is your soulmate. Mm. So what X needs to be released? <laughs> what X needs to be released? Ooh, lower. What X needs to be released? Mm, this is somebody here you could have been waiting on. You could have been waiting on this person. Libra, Oof, my Lord, you could have been waiting on this person to get a divorce. You need to release this person. Libra energy. This person could be the one that you are actually divorcing even, right? You, this is the person that you could be. Remember, I saw that some of you are get, going into a divorce and some of you are con connected with uh, a Libra energy. Definitely Libra energy here for some. Some of you could be connected to an earth sign. Um, cause we had the Ace of Pentacles, that's, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but it's a Libra that you guys, a Libra or a earth sign that you guys need to let go of. Or maybe you have a Libra and an earth sign. Either way, let that person go. Cause the person that is here trying to be with you is your soulmate. That's your person. That's who your higher power wants you to be with. So let's ask clarity on who this person is. Who is the person that um, Divine Feminine's higher power wants her to be with? Who is the person that, um, what sign is this person? Who is this person? Water. Cups, cups. Water. It's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, messages for Divine Masculine.
children. Your love life is being affected by children. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So have fun. Have fun with one another. Um, you may want to go on vacation for or a staycation or something to get away. Spend some time together. Mm. <laughs> wild. This is a wild energy, let me tell you. So um, what are the blocks that have been cleared? Somebody clear some blocks. What are the blocks that have been cleared within Divine Feminine for this to occur? What are the blocks that have been cleared by Divine Feminine? There could have been a block in your intuition. I feel like you are now listening more to your intuition. Tower. You could have been very emotional over someone, a karmic energy, and you finally let that person go. Yeah, you're following your heart. And what are the blocks that Divine Masculine has let go of? What are the blocks that the Divine Masculine has let go of? Or cleared, rather. Union. Wanting union or reunion with someone here. You ended it. This was a karmic cycle. Could have been with a Virgo that was married. You resisted this person. You ended this attachment. It was strong, but you ended it. This is an energy I've never seen before. That's pretty wild. Okay, so it looks like everything is going well let's see what we need to focus on today and then i'll clear it up i'll wrap it up what does divine feminine need to focus on today what does divine feminine need to focus on today regret get out of a place of regret stop regretting that you ended a karmic connection stop regretting that you ended this this completed a cycle that was needed to end okay it's time to let this person go. You did the right thing. And what should the divine masculine focus on? What should the divine masculine focus on? He's guarded because of some past wounds. You need to trust more, trust in this divine connection and divine timing. Things will work out. Um, focus on your self-worth right now and focus on your north node and focus on the feminine and masculine aspects within yourself. We both possess feminine and masculine energies. You really need to get a handle on both of your energies. Okay. Don't be afraid to make a love offer. And this is going to be very empowering for you to do this, okay, to make that offer. Okay, stop trying to control things. Control is not the issue or is not the path. Let that go so that your relationship can rise up. I feel like control is your wounded self. This isn't even who you are. Okay. I'll see everyone tomorrow.